and well, um, just everything just just got cranked up. And uh, you know, we've seen it here in the past. Where we've started slow, and teams have started slow. They, you know, the Niners had t trouble last week getting going and against these guys, and, and we we did it here. I think it's one thing that's very clear as you watch this football game. It was a different brand of ball in that second half. And now, if they can just keep that momentum going against the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, they've got to come out of the locker room ready to play from the first snap of the ball game. Because what they also have to understand, not only is there a time difference involved when you're traveling across the country, but you're playing against teams now that want to beat you because you're the champ. And they're going to come out of the locker room fired up because this is their big opportunity to knock you off, regardless of what their record is. Yeah, you bring up a really good point. So teams aren't going to lay down for you because right. you're the defending Super Bowl champs. They're going to play the best football of their lives against you. And the longer you keep them in the game, the harder it's going to be to put them away. Yeah, RJ Mueller goes one-on-one -on -one with one of the guys that tries to keep that momentum going against the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, Robert Turbin, part of that offense. And Turbin, what changed in the second half where the points were coming a little easier and those drives were a little bit longer? We were just able to get a rhythm and stay on schedule. We had guys executing all over the field. Uh, a little bit more discipline and winning our one-on-one -on -one battles. And the result, we were able to score more points and, and uh, be more successful in the second half. You were playing a different position after Derek Coleman breaks his foot in the pregame warm-ups. How hard is that to switch the position? Because I know a lot of people look and they go, it doesn't matter running back, fullback, they're still running the ball. Big difference, though. Yeah, it's a huge difference. You know, you're the, you're the one running without the ball. I was running back. Your natural instinct is to avoid people. You know, even when you do make contact, you're making contact not to necessarily get tackled, but to to go score a touchdown. I mean, that's the goal every time you throw. And at fullback, you're, it's almost like you're searching for somebody to to hit all the time. You know what I mean? And you have to move guys out of the hole and move guys out of the way and that's such a different aspect of the game than, than, than being the runner. It helps when you got when you have guys like Marshawn who's gonna back you and Christian who's gonna back you and, and, and coaches and stuff like that. They, they all they all have my back. And so um, with that, you know, that raises my confidence. Uh, and in return, I want to have their back too. Marshawn will get your back, but he also might run up your back if you're not careful. How do you time that with him? You know, it's just like having DC in there. You know, I, if I'm a runner and having, you know, DC or Mike Robb in the past is my block, I kind of can feel that time. You know, I'm a ball player. At the end of the day, we're just playing ball still. And so, you know, Marshawn, he's not hes not that fast, but he's going to catch me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just time. We're out there playing ball. Well, we will see you do that again this week, and hopefully the soreness wears off by the time the kickoff comes against Carolina. Yeah, I hope so, too. It's not right now, I can say that. <laughs> The Seahawks on the road again this week in Carolina. This is nothing new for these Hawks. Reason to believe things will turn around when all access continues. It's the Hawks!